afternoon. This is Navy Old Salt Gamer. I have uh, today's episode. Everything's going good down here. The uh, Harveys are working good. The big change today is a nice little elevator here. We'll take that up to the top. just about daytime here. It will be day pretty quick. So let me go over what I'm doing here. This is my observation deck, my rocket uh, control center. Basically I have everything set up that I can do everything from right up here. This is my umbilical controls, electrical and gas, and this is my volume pump to pressurize the tanks, probably top them off before I launch today, as soon as it becomes daylight, which shouldn't be too much longer. Um, this is pretty high. See everything that's going on up here. See my, I can hear my generator running. So it's hot, so it's pulling air in over here, venting air out, <laughs> and the room is the, the exhaust tanks are overpressurized, so it's releasing pressure over there. And I'm just chit chatting until done. So I'm going to go ahead and top these tanks off. I got the volume pump set to one. Uh, because if you don't, this the part pressure goes. Oh, there we go. The pressure goes up a lot faster than the actual pressure in the tanks. But there you go. There's my observation deck. You can see the umbilicals right there is the gas, and right above it is the electrical. And I want to get the tanks to 19 in here. It's a little behind as it pressurizes. So I'll get it pretty quick here. And then we're going to go ahead and try and do a scan here on this episode. Turn that off. Now the pressure will go back down until it equalizes in the tank. That's good. Alright, so I'm in here. I've already set my destination as orbit. I'll probably pick one of these and see what's there. But let's go back to the rocket. Let's pull in my umbilicals. There you can see it. And there's the electrical. That's good. Ah, a big test. I haven't, I haven't tested it yet. Let's see what happens. There it goes. So far, so good. I always seem to run out of fuel, so I put the big tank in this one. And doing okay so far. I'm not sure if I have to scan this area or not. I don't believe so. I'll do it anyway to see what happens. 20 seconds. Still got plenty of fuel yet. 17. If I run out of fuel again. <laughs> 6 seconds. So now we're in orbit. Let's see if I need to scan this area. Uh, location. Chart. Apparently you do. Maybe I'm scanning the three items that I saw on the map here. One, two, which I ain't going to on this one. <laughs> And the 
third, so that's probably what I'm scanning here now. And this will take a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it and come back. Okay, so this is just about done. I wasn't aware of this. There's a lot to scan in Europa. I mean, I'm a, I've only discovered the two moons. There's something way over there. So I got uh, Io so far and Ganymede. And I'm just about done with the final location here. A couple more scans. So I may not even get to a point in this scanning cycle where uh, I can find the gas cluster that I want. This, my goal is to stop mining for gas, scan for a, a gas uh, mining area, and then, yeah, so what is this? Prograde moon transfer. Okay, interesting. <laughs> So, I still have quite a bit of fuel. It's cooling off the temperature. It looks like I'm using fuel, but I'm actually not. The molds have stayed the same. So, let's turn the scanner off. Um, as far as everything in here, battery's good. I hardly used any power. Um, scanner's off. So let's go back. This one's closer. I hate to go too far and then not be able to come back. Does it tell you how long of a flight it is? I wish it gave you more information. It doesn't tell you how long the flight's going to be. But we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll set destination. And fire up the engine another 30 seconds. And then I'll have to scan there and then I'll do my return flight and we'll see if I'm two for four or one for four and launches. <laughs> Nine seconds that we doing for Yeah that's not it's not much fuel use in space so that's a good thing and I have arrived so first off I have to turn my scanner on and then so I'll go ahead and this will be pretty quick but I'll go ahead and chart these two areas and I'm going to pause it and I'll be right back okay so I'm a little more than half done here I just scanned the first thing and that is Tidal Fragments. I'm assuming that's going to be uh, ores. Although that doesn't give me much information. Tidal Fragments. Interesting. <laughs> so, two more scans and I'll have the next area. Tidal Fragments. I guess they want this to be realistic. It, it does take a little bit of time to scan. I guess I'm okay with that. You only have to scan once, but uh, not the best thing for recording. <laughs> Alright, so this should be complete. i go to rocket first, save the power. And condensate. So that sounds like gases I would want to investigate. So two scans and I already got I think I haven't been there yet but I think that's probably ores and this may be gas. But so now the next big step let's see if I can get this rocket back home. Set destination. Go to the rocket. I'm at 16 yet. I got plenty of fuel, theoretically. 
I have a very high success chance of landing. That does not take fuel into account because the one crash I had, I ran out of fuel, and this stayed very high until something, uh, I believe it was over here, changed to impact <laughs> in a countdown to impact. So uh, that didn't go real well. But all right, let's uh, turn the engine on. 90 seconds. Luckily, the gravity on the I.O. isn't real high, so uh, it shouldn't take a whole lot of fuel to slow the flight down. And I'm reaching my first destination here, orbit around us. And then it should continue right on by. 96 seconds and I'm, I'm hardly using any fuel right now that uh, why is it oh descent and rest why is the time staying the same <laughs> should that be counting down there it goes <laughs> Going, it might be in the dark, so we won't be able to see too much. Ooh, got some lag there. That doesn't happen very often. Fuel's good. 17 or 70 seconds. Another minute. There's the altitude reading. Ground velocity. Fifty nine seconds, so I oh, should be fine. I'm not gonna run out of fuel if I crash, it's not because of that. I don't know when I should look. I guess I'll stop now. It looks like a Fuel's going to be good, so we'll come out. I can look up. Hopefully, see it come down. There it is. You see the rocket firing. Don't run out of fuel. Don't crash. That's just the engines. <laughs> That's a scary sight in the dark. Coming down nice and slow, so... I think that was successful. Can't really tell in the dark. Let's uh, put the umbilicals out. Everything looks good. Let's go down and make sure. Would have been better if it was in the daytime, I guess, but it's kind of fun watching it land in the dark. I do want to point out one thing and see if anybody else has this issue. If I'm not down here watching when these refill, like this one will be able to see, but if I'm not here when Harvey reloads these, it says potato is thriving. There's no potato visible, but if I exit the game and come back in, the potato's there. So it's some kind of glitch. Let's see. If I stand here, it'll show it. If I'm watching, or you know, in range of it, it'll plant it, and it's there. But if I'm not around, it glitches out, which I don't understand. But I just wonder if anybody else has that issue. I can 
be working and come back here and the, everything will be blank and I'll have a whole garden planted. curious to see if all my pipes and wires held up and then that'll be it for today. Yeah, everything looks good. Rockets on the ground. Umbilicals are out. Awesome. Two for four. <laughs> yeah, I have to go over here. I, I don't know how picky the ratios were but I can set this for 66, and I think it's a temperature thing. Uh, volatiles is one. You know, I set it for 66.34, and it was 69% vol volatiles in the rocket. I'm not sure I understand that very well. But there you go. Uh, an successful scan, launch, and retrieve. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, subscribe and like them. Uh, I'll be building a mining rocket next, a gas miner, and launching that. That's heavier. I am zero for one or two on the heavier rockets. But uh, I'll go back up here. And I'm just curious how the gas, how much gas I had left. Would have refilled a little bit. Oh man, that was an easy one. So, I think it was down to 12 something. Oh, there's daytime. There you go. Rocket on the pad. Lots of fun. There is a pipe here. It's just, I'm so far out of range that it looks like the pipe's not there, but it is. Alright, you have a good one. Again, subscribe and like my videos. And we'll see you tomorrow or the next day.